Hello and welcome back to 1909 Games. My name is Jan and I like to make games and I want to show you how to make games as well. This time with Bolt. We are here in our Unity Hub and what I want to show you in this tutorial is pretty simple. We just want to install Bolt but there are a few things you have to keep in mind before starting. So at first just let's create a new project. I want to make a universal render pipeline project. Let's call it install Bolt. Okay now we wait until Unity gets its things done. If this is the first time you use Unity, don't worry, it can take some time. And by the way, Bold is an asset that is free, but you have to install it or you have to add it to your assets list. So I have a link in the description to the Unity asset store, so you can do that just right there. Just that you know that is the affiliate link and, and if you don't want to miss more content like this, so content about Bolt, so more in detail, then please leave a subscription and leave a like, maybe a comment, whatever you like, that will help the channel a lot to go on with stuff like this. Thanks! So after some time, we are here now in Unity. Um, to install Bolt, what we have to do is we have to go to our package manager. That is just up here under window and you go a little bit down and you see it here, package manager. So this could take a while. And now what you have to do is, what you see here are the Unity registry things, so the tools. Go down to this drop down menu right here, click on it and go to my assets. So now it's loading um, and you see right here, I can see it right here, bold, but you can also search it up here. But you know, since I see it right here, why not just installing it? At first you have to download it. It is already on my PC, so I don't have to click download, but if you have to, then down here there will be a percentage uh, thing. So you see how long it will take around. If you are done with the download, go to import. Preparing package, okay, not not too much inside here, just click import. So that was easy so far. So and that's it, this is a pretty quick thing. So now we can close our package manager. And what we will see, uh, what we will see here next to our windows up here, there is tools. And now we have the option to install Bolt. So this was not really the installation, we just, you know, placed it in our project. So install Bolt. And you see here now, there are quite more files. Just take everything, click import. Not a problem. Now give Unity some time. It could take a while depending on your computer and so on. Okay, and now we have opened up our Bolt setup wizard. So it says Bolt, Visual Scripting, welcome to Bolt, blah, blah, blah. Now this is what we have to do. Just click next for sure. Now we have two options. The first is a human naming and the second is a programming naming. I would, if you just start out, go with the programming naming. I would, if you already have some programming knowledge, go with programming na programmer naming. Because I think it's then at first easier to switch to normal programming. And on the other hand, in my opinion, human naming is not that much of a difference. I mean, not it, it's not that much easier. For the last video, I had the humaning, human naming, but let's now go just with programmer naming. And here you see some settings. I wouldn't take care of them right now. Just click next and you can choose the type you want to use for a variable unit. So an object, you see that right here. You can, you can have these variables. Just leave them like they are and now you can press generate. And you see it's slowly doing its job. And that's it. We are done. That quickly we installed Bolt. What you see right here is now you can have the manual, you can go to the configurations or close this window. Let's press close and Bolt is ready to use. If you don't want to miss more Bolt tutorials that will go more into the Bolt itself. I mean this was really really basic, I know that, but I think it's a good thing to just get through every step. So if you don't want to miss the next videos, just click subscribe. I have a devlog and so on. I also have some courses on more the art kind of style like 
pixel art and so on as the Udemy courses are just in the description and the link to the asset store to bolt is in the description as well. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye!